football. A game where greatness is defined in an instant. A game of suspense, skill and strength. A game of trials and triumphs. All in the pursuit of one thing. Victory. Experience all football has to offer. See Victory League live. We're back with all the action here from KG5 Football Park. The third match of a huge triple header at KG5 between Tilford Zebras and South Hobart about to go down. Both teams are on the park. I'll get Lutters to quickly run you through the starting lineups for today and we'll have a kickoff not far away. Matt Lewis, Hugh Ludford, Caleb Ludlow returns, Braden Mann, Nick Morton, Kane Pearson goals. And Luzinski over this one and they kick off. Morton with it again, goes out wide to Brennan. Walsh has got to do his job this time and he does so. Sees it out for a corner. It's a ball into the box, out to the back post. Firm header on it by Mann, then hit away by Page. Spills out to Cass at the edge of the box. He scuffs a shot off his shin. To Scott. Scott finds Brennan. Brennan goes out to the left of Walsh. Tries to fire it into throw in from Kurt Engels into the middle. Page turns with the ball. Taken off him by Morton. Now to Brennan. Chips it over the top. Man. Seen away from it by Courtney. And then Pitchford collects. Pitchford gets up with the ball. I haven't said a word because I've been going to town on four dollars worth of hot chips, Gilly. Decent value for four dollars from old Louie next door. Yeah, I probably had the territorial advantage, but uh, Zebras have had a fair bit of the ball. I've had a fair bit of the ball, but no real chances to speak of either. Once again, uh, Walsh on him tight. Puts in a ball to Man here. This is South's chance. He gets around one, sends a ball in. Great save there by Pitchford. Falls to Ludlow uh, and South kicking an extra gear. Stevens sends in the ball to the back post. Morton gets ahead to it. Over the bar. That's probably South Hobart's best chance so far tonight. In the most ideal of ways is Scott sends in a free kick at the back post but Pitchford gets to it beautifully. And Spreads it further. Ludford who dishes dishes to Hay. It comes out. But, uh, Hottie is coming off. We're not too sure if it would be an injury. Did you see anything? No, good on Jed Donahue for having the bravery to go right that hasn't worked. I'll get, I'll get the player on. I don't need to have to, I don't have to wait for half time. As the ball comes in to South Hobart, man snaps off the shot with his left boot and the pitch fit is down. Matthews tweeted in before that he didn't like the overuse of uh, slice of cheese. Plays into the middle. Nice ball finds Brendan. He beats Fielding. Then looks to get by Page, but takes an early Ethan, shot. You know, Ethan Engels into it. He's got the speed on the right. Bring him into it. As I say, that Brennan has a shot from the edge of the box and puts it over the bar. Uh, ball sent in by Scott to the back post. Man, uh, Morton free as you like. Heads firmly. Lazinski getting a little isolated and they're not getting that extra man up in uh, midfield. As McEwen rifles one off from distance, but it's straight at Pierce yes. left. But fielding there to chop it out. Man covers. Man enters the top of the box. So has a strike at goal, but it goes... Morton entering the box now. He's got Page up on him. A few step-overs, fires in, and it's cleared away by Walsh. Ronan will be pulling his hair out that he didn't, but Morton quite easily could have gone the Fosbury flop there, given the opportunity, but stayed on his feet. Credit to the young man. As I say, that Ludlow puts through a terrific ball. Yeah, that undershirt. Petrie comes to the, the corner and punches clear. Oh, Ludlow found it at the top of the box and got a strike on, but it was well and Now Zebra's break. Lazinski spreads it wide to McEwen and they're on here, two on two at the back. Engels is in, it could be a goal! Great save from Pierce. Oh! Oh, it's a goal! Scott has missed the clearance and I think he's knocked it into his own net. Ethan Engels scores! Against the run of play, Zebra's score. We are just 61 minutes into this second half. Zebra's go 1-0 ahead Zebra's again. Zebra's regroup. Engels is dispossessed by Ludlow, sends in a first time ball, oh, and Josh Fielding looks to almost send it into his own net off his head. Ludlow with it now, sends it down the line to Hay, cuts inside around McEwen, he's got Engels, gets around Engels, sends a ball in, and it's, I believe it's saved off. Clarence was a bit of an air swing and it went over him and into the net, so we're well and truly in a real tussle here. 
Paskey. Um, it's 1-0. You can see South Hobart probably picking one back, but it's the fact they've got one here bodes well for Olympia as Liam Scott is showing a slice of cheese. Um, unfortunately, Seven Darryl... minutes in, Cass comes off for Darcy Hall. Ludd has spoke about the fact that he's surprised... Regular towards the end there, but we'll see how he goes. Fielding sends in a free kick. Morton looks to clear it out, only as far as Kurt Engels. He has a blistering strike, but it goes to Lazinski. 2-0! It's 2-0 here at KG5. Alex Lazinski. Well, first off, Kurt Engels has attempted to have a strike, but he's just completely mishit it. It's fell, fallen perfectly to Alex Lazinski. This is happening. This has literally blown the league right open. As Ludford has it now, looks to put through, I'm not sure who, it's this year. And you would question, though, whether they've got the, as Fielding comes in to try and tackle away from Brennan. Brennan knocks on into the box in the attack. But the most uh, intense game we've probably seen in the Vigil League. Morton swings it out wide to Hall. See what the youngster can do. Cuts him board, fires off left of goal. Doesn't trouble Pitchford. Uh, that's, uh, I'm happy you said that, but he's been decent. As Morton strolls through the middle of the park, plays out to Hall. Hall plays in the centre and is cleared out by Courtney, and I just already know. Oh, Sunday McEwen gets the header out. Morton strikes it. Low, deflected out. And Brennan with it again. Sends in across the back post. Cleared out well by Russell Courtney. Another header in from Brennan. Cleared out by Page. Stevens with it now. He's touched it down horribly. And Lazinski is sent through Ethan Ingalls. He's onside here. Bit of space out wide. What's he going to do? Oh! He uses Scott. Flicks a ball in. And a man header comes straight into the breadbasket of Nathan Pitchford, who collects comfortably. Ball comes short from a corner, out to Ludlow. Marcioli's out to try and stop him, but into Brennan, an unmarked Brennan. Pitchford, Pitchford at the top of the box. A six yard. I think the call just there from uh, uh, Savile has been 3-3. Three, three. So Redheads. Will this be the downfall of the Zebras? Huge one, but it ends up back. Lazinski uses Page. Page shoots from the edge of the box comfortably. Slowly making their way to what would be a huge win for the club. Huge win for the club. Huge win for the competition. Oh! oh! And that's it! Body no! McEwen with a diving header into the bottom right corner. Ball comes in. I can't say I saw who. I think it might have been Page who's, who put it to the back post. And McEwen, like a jack in the box, just. Morton, Morton races down the right. Goes to Man, nice little back heel from Man through the hall. But seen clear. FA Cup qualifier for oh. South for Tasmania as Man gets through, feeds to Brennan. Brennan fires a goal, but it's saved off the body of Pitchford. Rock solid in goal. Ken, I thought you dominated the first half in terms of position, but that finish wasn't there. No, no, no cutting edge and as I said last week, you know, we have to do better in every game we play in. And tonight in the front third we weren't good enough. You were playing the ball wide beautifully and creating, you know, the opportunities, but any shots that did come were straight at the keeper? Yeah, I mean, we could have had one or two in the first half and uh, Pitchy made a couple of good saves, but it wasn't good enough. We have to do better than that. And he's a class keeper, so the crosses have got to come in hard and low and a lot quicker. Is it the case of changing the makeup of the, that front three, Ken, to get that cutting edge? How do you, how do you fix that before next week? We'll keep working the way we do work and we'll try and put things right. Um, we have work to do, there's no doubt about that. The balance was what I thought was quite good tonight. It was in that to try and get a cutting edge when the teams sit very deep, it's, it's difficult at every level to break it down. But we've got to draw them out and try and uh, get some earlier shots on. That might drag them out a little bit. But we've got to be brighter when we start to exploit their spaces in behind. We had lots of, lots of chances to get in behind and, and cross quickly, and we didn't do that tonight. What, Jed, you must be delighted with that win. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. We were very good defensively tonight. We all did jobs. And, uh, we hit them on the break. We took our chances. I think at one stage we had three attempts on goal and two goals, so that's, that's good. Good return. Lachinski was quite creative and finished well too. He did, yeah. I, I thought everybody did a job today. Uh, that's all you can ask, isn't it? Every, we, we had people dropped in. We, well, we were on the pump a little bit in the first half. South Hobart, lots of attacking options and they had lots of possession. But we, you know, we had, we had you know, 
five across the midfield and four at the back, and yeah, it was good. Bouncing, bouncing back from 2-0 loss last week to Devonport to this week, and you, you're scoring, you scored three goals against the reigning champions. I think we've, we've been inconsistent. We haven't taken our chances. So I don't... I, it's trying to get the best out of the strikers. That, that's the thing. I, I, the scores don't actually probably uh, give a, the, the public who aren't at the games so a good idea of what, what we're actually doing. And we are, we are trying to play good football. And we, but what, there seems to be something. If we cop a goal, it, it makes it difficult. Everybody wants to be a hero and don't, they don't want to do jobs. And tonight everybody did a job, kept a clean sheet, and we went on with it. As it, it obviously adds to the fact that you've lost Johnny Laddick and Joel Stone in the middle of the park. You can do something like this. Well, I think that Johnny and, and John and uh, Stoney are both good attacking midfield players. And uh, Fern coming in, Fern's more of a defensive midfielder, and Chell was more perhaps a more defensive midfielder. But he, he went into the ten role, and you know Chell works hard and he worked back. So perhaps I, I don't know. It's ironic we lost. We've lost two creative attacking players who've scored goals, and sometimes the first goal in a game. And yet, today, off the defensive performance, we were able to get some on the break.